Hello, my name is Cedric. I'm 22 years old from Norway. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a training block of four days preparing for my first year as a professional cyclist. Stay tuned and GG. Good morning, today I'm gonna have two interval sessions on the bike and it's pretty cold outside so I have to do both the sessions inside. So I will now go to my parents house because that's where I have my training room and we have recently upgraded the training room. So now the training is going a lot easier and I will now show you why. You're probably wondering why we have a glass wall splitting this room in two. And the reason for that is because it makes this room smaller, so that it's getting easier to heat up this room when I'm gonna have heat sessions. I'm doing 10 minutes at the threshold today. Done with two now. Feeling is pretty controlled. I like to start more controlled and then be able to increase. Measure 1.8, then we can increase. GG. Done with the session. Three hours, seven times 10 minutes from zone 3 up to threshold. Now it's important to eat. I also have a recovery shake. We'll get back home now, eat more, probably have a short sleep and then uh, prepare for a new session. GG. Ready for the second interval session of the day. And now I'm gonna have a short Vitamax session, only two hours. And what I will consume during this session is two gels, one bar, one banana. And in the bottles today I have fast carb in three of the bottles and also one bottle of uh, water. And today I'm gonna have a good warm up. Before I'm gonna do two minutes hard, one minute easy, three times, then longer rest and do that three times. So I think I just have to start. GG, wish me luck. Good morning, today is day 2 of training in this video and today I'm gonna have some LT1 and I thought that I could show you guys how a typical morning for me looks like. I'm usually doing some mobility in the morning uh, because I try to become more flexible and also because I think it's a good feeling to loose up a little bit in the morning and I would probably say that I do this for maybe five times a week um, and not more than 10 minutes. After the mobility I'll make some breakfast and in the past weeks I've started to make banana and oats pancakes which tastes really good and I'm topping them with strawberry jam, some yogurt, blueberries, kiwi and also some banana. Then the breakfast is served, also a cup of coffee 
And it's a pretty huge breakfast, but uh, it gives me the energy that I need through the day. And this morning, compared to the morning I had two years ago when I was a triathlete, it's a really big difference because back then I had to wake up really early to get to the swimming pool to start a day. But now I have so much more time because I don't have three sessions per day. Uh, so I would say that the lifestyle of a cyclist is more relaxed compared to the lifestyle of a triathlete. Because of the, the weather in Norway now, I have to do a lot of training inside. So therefore I also used the opportunity to train with other guys when that is possible. So now I'm on my way to uh, Olympic champion in rowing actually. I'm gonna have a session in his home gym together with uh, Kasper today. And you will see that he got a really nice gym and we are very lucky that we can uh, borrow that gym because he got like everything there, all the equipment we need. So the only thing I have bring now is, is my bike. Good morning everyone. We are now on uh, Olaf Tufte, Skim, former Olympic champion. Yeah, it's great air, great facilities and uh, yeah. Today I'm gonna have four and a half hours with some uh, LT1. And for you Kasper, four hours and uh, with 4 to 5 times 15 minutes threshold. And today I'm aiming for 120 grams of carbs per hour. So I'm having two gels, two porridge bars, also four rice cakes and a banana. I usually make the rice cakes on the rest days. It's really nice to have some alternative to normal bars and gels. Three, two, one. Done with two times 20 minutes. Filming is pretty good. Steady heart rate. Moxie sensor shows pretty high and steady numbers, so that's also good. One point three, so pretty good intensity control. GG. Today it's day three of um, of training in this training block. My next race is uh, in two weeks time in uh, in Italy, Coppi Bartali. And in this training block I've split it up into four days of training, one day of resting, two days with intervals, one day with LT1 and one easy day. Uh, and today is the easy day, uh, so that's basically the only day with uh, nothing special on the plan. And as you probably can see, it is a little bit cold outside. It's Three degrees but it's gonna be sun today so hopefully I will not freeze this is my third ride outside in Norway this year the two other rides I was using studded tires on, uh, on my road bike actually because then it was still some ice on the roads but now it's a little bit warmer so hopefully there's no more ice but now I'm on my way to meet Kasper again GG Uh, done going for um, pub sandwich and uh, coffee stop inside today. Uh, a little bit cold outside today, so we're sitting inside here. Not the most beautiful uh, coffee stop, but what's your video? One hour left, feeling pretty good. 235 in average power, 126 in average heart rate. 
And I was actually supposed to have an uh, intro session today and easy long ride tomorrow. But because of the weather, tomorrow it's gonna be zero degrees and snow. So then I switched the days so I could use the opportunity to ride outside today. Six hours done, but now it is important to, to eat enough, uh, recover, because tomorrow is a new quality session. Having a little evening snack while I'm checking my training peaks. And for tomorrow, I have five hours on the plan. Uh, classic specific session. So I'm gonna have some uh, intervals in the beginning of the session and also in the end of the session. So I think it's gonna be a pretty hard one. Uh, so it's really important to eat enough. But yeah, this is something I do almost every evening just to make sure that I know what to do when I wake up in the morning. Ready for the last day of training in this training block and also for this YouTube video. Now I'm gonna have five hours on the turbo with some intervals and then one hour in the gym. It's now one o'clock and you're probably wondering why I'm starting this late. And the reason for that is because tomorrow I have a rest day. So it doesn't matter if I'm finished with this session pretty late today. And by starting this session a little bit later, I got also a little bit more rest before this session. But today I'm gonna have an intel session with some intervals in the beginning of the session and also in the end to make it pretty specific because it's usually in the end of the race you actually can win the race. So it's important to be able to produce good power after doing a lot of work. The warm up I'm gonna do is six minutes LT1, then three minutes threshold. And then four times 30 seconds, pretty hard to get the ventilation really going. Then I'm gonna have a block of intervals, then almost one and a half hours of easy, and then some go to max efforts in the end. GG. <laughs> Done with 2 times 20 and also 2 times 4 minutes. Uh, in the 4 minutes, I've done steady hard. So now I'm gonna take a last hit and see how my lactate respond is at the moment. <coughs> 3.8 was a little bit lower than I expected actually. I've been working a lot with lower my Villamax the last couple of weeks but 3.8 is a little bit too low but that's probably because of that I'm a little bit empty it's been three pretty long training days and it's hard to eat enough so I was probably not eating well enough yesterday so I'll have an extra gel now but the feeling is okay and um, two more then 90 minutes easy, and then some shorter, harder efforts. Mm -hmm. GG. Done with efforts, pretty hard session actually due to a lot of training last couple of days. I was focusing a lot with fueling in the 90 minutes in between the efforts because I felt pretty empty actually after the, the first uh, block of uh, efforts today. But I fueled a lot and I felt a lot better the last, last intervals. So a steady and controlled two minutes efforts and uh, I measured 6.6. So that's actually what I was aiming for. So happy about that. Now I'm gonna do 30 minutes more cool down. Then I have five hours. Then I will do some gym work. But I think it's good to end this video now because I think it is long enough. And once again, thanks for watching. See you in the next one, GG.
Para 